Yo, Elliot, what do you do when you're feeling productive and positive, yet everywhere you turn, there's issues, problems, delays, lags? It seems that when I'm ready to get the ball rolling at work or at home, I hit so many issues. What do you do in your mind and soul when you want to move mountains, but everywhere you turn, there's a roadblock? I think that this is, it dovetails or, or it works very well with something that I said last week in terms of when you don't know what to do or, or even when you're facing these kinds of issues, sometimes it's better not to do anything. Sometimes it's better to just use all that positive, productive, positive energy to be an observer. And I know that's hard to do because with that energy, as, especially as men, we want to get out there and we want to do it. We want to go out there and make it happen. And when you have that energy, you have that positive energy, the tendency is, well, then I need, to, I need to get active with something. When really that energy, just like sex energy, can be transmutated into awareness. And if you allow yourself to sit and observe a little bit longer, watch what you're doing a little bit longer, be, be a watcher, you'll better realize where you need to put your energy, right? Just because we have energy doesn't mean that we have to do it. This is like, I, I use sex energy as an example because it's a very legitimate an, an, answer, uh, example, like sexual transmutation, right? Like, guys, like, we're learning, right, in this program about semen retention, right, and, 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 the, and the challenge that it is, but also the benefit thereof. And one of the challenges is that I have this energy in my body, this positive energy in my body, in my penis, and it wants to go somewhere. I need to let it go somewhere. And so porn, masturbation, promiscuity, things of this nature, a lot of things that end up getting us in trouble and end up weakening us as a result. But we're learning also now that that energy can, you can sit with that energy. You could relax into that energy. You don't have to push into your penis, right? You know what I'm talking about? When, you feel, when, you're, when you're, you're feeling horny and you're like, you're like, driving your energy into it. You're, you're thinking about it. You're, you're pushing. You can draw that all back in. You can draw that all back up by breathing and drawing attention away from your penis and allowing the, allowing the energy to circulate. And you'll feel it circulate because as it withdraws from the penis and you breathe, you'll start, you'll even feel tingles. I feel tingles in my body sometimes, right? Especially when I get to about the 10th day of, of, um, of semen retention about the 10th day all of a sudden like it starts being like okay we need to go somewhere and i'm like uh, 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 uh. easy <sighs> breathe and then it kind of calms down and then i have energy to do other things right this is what sexual this is how i've seen the mechanics of sexual transmutation work it's nothing mystical it's kind of like just directing your your attention pull it away and direct it somewhere else right so what it, whatever it is that you're doing, whatever it is that you're doing that's causing issues, problems, delays, and roadblocks, it's basically like a guy with a boner that's like, well, I have this energy, so I'm going to keep masturbating. So it becomes another addiction, right? The act, the, the act of needing to release this energy, whether it be productive energy or generative energy, is the problem. You're running into issues. Same thing with the guy that, that blows his load or is addicted to Tinder. You're running into issues. So the best thing to do in these circumstances is to step back. Don't do anything. Stop doing anything. I know you're ready. You say, I'm ready to get the ball rolling. Well, so is the guy with the boner. He's ready to, he's ready to get rolling too. Pull back, bro. Pull back, bro. Reassess, right? Be grateful for the energy that you have. But reassess where... You need to direct it. You obviously are directing it in the wrong places. I know I've done that. I've done that so many times where I know something needs to get done. I have energy to do it, but I'm going about it all wrong and I'm, I'm creating issues. Like I used an example last week, sometimes when I have this sense that need, something needs to be done and I need to, I have the energy to do it, but then I'm smart enough now because I made enough mistakes, <laughs> right? I'm wise enough now. That's where wisdom comes from, fucking up. I messed up so many times that I'm like, oh, oh, I can see it coming. I'm about to, I'm about to go and do that shit that I ain't supposed to do, and it's gonna be, a, it's gonna be the same tangled web that it was last time. Uh, 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 uh. And then once I catch myself, 
I can make a better decision. Oh, why don't I just call my assistant and ask him to help me with this? Why don't I, why don't I read a book over here to learn a little bit more before I jump into that, right? You, you, you're blowing your load too early and you're getting pissed off. You know, you're bumping up against things that you, you, you're chasing after, right? You're chasing after something and you're bumping, at, bumping up to it and that's what's making you mad. Stop chasing. Just, it's tough. But this is what the program is about, right? What do we do when we get to the 12th commandment? We learn to be. Allow yourself to be. Be grateful for your productive, your productive energy. Be grateful for your boner when it comes. Hey, I appreciate you. I know what you're trying to do. I know what's up here. It's okay. I'm in charge, not you, right? And it's not much different. It's not much different at all. You have to say, no, I'm in control, not my will. My will, my will wants to go and, or my ego wants to go and be productive. But I have control over my will, and so I'm going to be instead of be steeped in activity. And I think that you'll save more energy, you'll, you'll uh, have more energy, and you'll be more productive as a result of doing less. Um, I have a video that came out just yesterday called The, 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 the Magic of Doing Nothing. And then I have another one coming out probably in another two days about, about uh, when, when to do nothing, right? So I've been talking about this a lot lately. And a, lot of times, a lot of times the best thing to do is to do nothing. And that's hard to, hard to hear in a world that, that glorifies overworking. But there's, there's, a, there's a point of, of uh, diminishing returns and you're experiencing it, right? You're working hard, but you're not getting anywhere, right? Yeah, just stop. Okay, dude, I hope that helps. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent King Transformation classes with my students, where, among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things as it relates to becoming kings in our lives and fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G, and then me and my team will get back to the details to see if you qualify. I really hope to see you at the next meeting. Done.